everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore 64, and we're looking at a maze game called Maziax, published by DK Tronics in 1984. Uh, all review this game was X Spectrum, it's one of my favourite maze games of all time on that system, so we'll have to see how it plays on the Commodore 64 as well. But essentially you control this stick man, who has to battle against evil creatures called Maziacs in a randomly generated maze. You must find some treasure and then get back to the start again in order to survive. So here it is generating the maze and off we go in a moment. Right, here I am the stick man. You can bring up the map here to find out where the maze yaks are. You must, you must continually eat food. You see my energy going down in the bottom horizontal row, that red thing there. I think the yellow might be the maze yaks. There's prisoners wrapped up in those blue bu bubbles and they'll give you a yellow root. Oh, I'm fighting a maze yak already. Please don't die. Yes, they'll give you a yellow root telling you the direction of the gold. So here we go. You can pick up swords as well to increase your chances of beating the maze yaks. But if you can avoid them and find a different way through, then great. Now, when these prisoners tell you, they'd be like those people in Aliens on the wall. But anyway, when these, uh, the uh, prisoners tell you the route, they give you this yellow um, guide, but they're only there for a certain amount of time, then it disappears. So it's all about strategy, this game. You could get killed by one of the Maziacs at any time. If you pick up a sword, your chances of um, uh, victory are increased. Now, I've completed this a few times, but it doesn't happen very often, probably because I'm doing the wrong tactics. So, your energy is always going down. Look at the red bar now going down in the bottom there. Well, by eating that food, I say that's good. But don't eat all the food on the way to the treasure, because then you have none left coming back. Right, I'm defeating quite a few of these guys. If you completed this one, then let me know. The maze has no edges. Oh dear, that's not good. I've been killed by a maze, yeah, I guess. Oh well. So we'll have a few goes on this one. At least try and find the treasure. But already it's a really cool game. It might play slightly quicker than the Spectrum version. I'm not quite sure. But this is a great conversion. Written by Andy French. Well done to him. Generate the maze again. Go, go, go. So basically the maze consists of prisoners, food and swords and the treasure. If we can find it. Moves quite well for the time. 1984. I would have been really pleased with this one. Sometimes there's more than one way around, but if there's three Maziacs in a row, you're not going to defeat them. Uh, like all random generated type games, sometimes it generates in a way that's very, very difficult. There's three levels of play, three difficulties. This is the easiest one. A bit scared to do even more difficult there. Oh, oh no, I've died again. These Maziacs are tough fellows, you know. They are very, very tough. Already I would recommend tracking this game down. What a terrible way to go. It certainly was. And it, uh, I think it gives you a few messages at the end. It's not always the same. Uh, quite a plain title screen. I could have coloured that in, but I still like it. Well, when it's generating the maze, that is. You start off with a sword initially. Keep eating the food, but not all the food, right? Right. Limited amount of swords as well. There's quite a lot of maze eggs. This, looks, this feels a little bit more difficult than the Spectrum version. It might be my imagination. I don't think this come out on any 16-bit system that I can remember. If you know better, then let me know about that. Now, what I would always say, uh, these uh, reviews aren't uh, about expert gameplay, although sometimes that might happen at random, certainly unplanned. Uh, it's all about having a bit of fun, seeing what the game would have played like on your first or second go, and would there have been enough there if you want to go back and play it again. So, basically, yes to that one. Uh, also, primarily the channel is to defeat stress, really, have a bit of fun. It's almost as if we're playing it round a friend's house. We might not necessarily have read the instructions, and we're just having a bit of fun and kicking back to try and get the experience we would have had back in the day as we fight these evil maniac creatures. And they're so, they sure are scary people, or creatures, I should say. Look at them go. Uh, they're scarier even than the spiders from Horace and the Spiders. Right, so I'm getting a bit of distance here this time. You can bring up the map at any point, but you don't really need to. You can just follow this route here. Let's find the treasure. Hello, prisoner. I can't rescue you, but thank you for finding me the way. They've been imprisoned by the Maziac creatures. Of course, a lot of them up there. It's terrible when they're all together like that. Maybe entice them. I think when you've got a few together, they might be a little bit stronger. As I say, having a sword on you increases your chance of victory. Look at that. There's too many of them there. The, the treasure better not be round there by them people. Okay, that's a, hmm. Can we go down this way? No. I'm not liking this route. I've got the treasure anyway. I've got the treasure. Hope you noticed that. I'm carrying now treasure. Now, you can't carry the treasure and the sword at the same time. So, quite often, it's a good idea to dump the treasure and then pick up the sword and get closer and closer. I'm not doing that for some reason. Your chances, your chances of um, 
victory without a sword are reduced. Maybe I can make it all the way back anyway. You're risking it now, Nick. So, you know, I need to get the sword and dump the treasure, really. But let's see if I can just make it back anyway. Can I get round there? I don't think I'm going to have too many chances of beating these maniacs. Still, uh, yes, maybe I can make it after all. Go. Right, maximum uh, food. So you're not going to starve to death here. I must be getting quite close to the start again. Maybe I will complete it after all. Show me the route back, Mr. Prisoner. Here we go. There must be one left here. Uh, I maybe should have picked up the sword. Um, I can't keep getting away with this, which I didn't. Oh dear. So I got quite close to completing that. So you can tell as a kid, they wouldn't have taken too many goals, and you've been completing this quite a lot of times. A pity you can't eat Maisy eggs. Well, it is, it is a pity. Yeah, I was a bit silly there. I should have dumped the treasure and got the sword instead. I was almost there. Now, one of the tips I read was to kill as many maniacs as possible on the way to the treasure initially uh, in order to make a safer journey back. But, you know, the, the more the more maniacs you come across, the more chance you've got of being killed. So I know that's a good tactic or not. There's probably a cheat available for um, having no maniacs. What's the, what's, what's the point of the game then? I like the way this thing scrolls. It's, quite, it's zoomed in right at the right uh, level to me. Um, I don't know the backstory between these uh, prisoners there, but they never escape. They're moving about. I can't remember the Spectrum version they were moving about as well. It might not have been. I'd have to check that out again. Come on. Oh, look. That was a short, that was a short lived life. Quite addictive, this game. Quite addictive. I'd have to see if Beatlemania come out on the Commodore 64 as well. That's one of my favourite games on the ZX Spectrum back in the day. I do like a good maze game. If you've got a favourite maze game on the Commodore 64, then put it in the comment section below, because I generally only know about these games if they come out on the Spectrum uh, as well, because I grew up with the Spectrum, didn't have too much uh, contact with the Commodore 64, but I am enjoying looking at the uh, games on that system as well as a comparison, but no doubt there were some exclusives on the Commodore 64 that didn't come out anywhere else, or certainly didn't come out on the Spectrum, so it'll be nice to eventually see them as well. If you want to see more Commodore 64 games on the channel so far, a few, a few, um, over a hundred. So uh, have a look on the Commodore 64 playlist. Show that a bit of love uh, to get there. If you don't know, you click on my username, that brings up the channel, uh, and then I think on the tabs on the top, unless YouTube would change the display, there would be uh, the playlist tab. Click on that, and there's Commodore 64 and a whole heap of, heap of other systems as well to keep you amused. Big thank you to people who have subscribed to the channel. That's a huge help in letting it continue. And in particular, the members. Without you, this channel would not be here. Did you see that animation there? If you wait too long in the same place, the guy will sit down bored. Look at that. Look at that. But one, two, three, four, five, six maziacs. They've got no chance of getting through there, destroying six in a row. I need a friend to come and help me. This looks like a dead end. Oh dear. So I think in this case, in the, the maze is generated something that's impossible for me to actually escape. It is just one player this, so you can't have two players split screen someone else on the other side of the maze. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it, if that happened. And Maze X2 on two players. And once again, I've beaten my doom. That was pretty predictable, wasn't it? I'm doomed. I'm doomed, baby. You must have more luck next go. Well, fingers crossed. So Q, A, Z, X and uh, V to bring up the map. Not the worst keys in the world. Put gold here. Well, I will. Look, I can see it on the right there already, briefly. So maybe, maybe this is an easy map. Maybe this is an easy map, and we can get there. Time can go past quite quick on this. It's Stickman Glory. Is it Stickman or some crazy ant fellow? Not quite sure. But he's against Maziax. I wonder if the, this this game was influenced. Oh, that was quick. This game was influenced, I suppose, by Alien, the movie, as so many were, especially with the, the prisoners. What a terrible way to go, especially with the prisoners on the side there and the Maziacs. They could be like the Xenomorph from Alien, perhaps. They, they they're different enough. They're different enough. Right, there's a prisoner there. You would have thought I could have rescued him because he's so close to my home base. Put gold here. I'll try. There we go. That's what we got to get around. As the Beach Boy said, they get around, round, 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 round. But they didn't. They weren't singing the song about Maziacs being chased by aliens all over the place. That is for sure. Buff. Please win. It's always in the balance whether you're beating them. You can't influence uh, that apart from the, your food and your sword. It's like some random generator. Don't run out of swords. Don't run out of food. Don't get killed by Maziacs. That's a good tip, both in the game and in real life. 
If you are a maziac, then comment below. Um, are you still trapped in this maze, or have you been misrepresented and you got a standard job as a librarian or something, and these guys in there are just giving you a bad name? Clear your name, baby. Uh, right, show us the way, sir. This way. Boom, 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 boom. So, you know, I would have kept playing this until I completed the thing. I'm not sure I'll complete it in this uh, review. I've already been playing it maybe a bit longer than they should be, but who cares? Uh, let's just keep going. Maybe I will get lucky. The random mazes really make this, I think, as well. All the elements are the same, but the mazes are random. Uh, unless there's a set number of mazes in there, but I, I can't remember them. Do I prefer this or the ZX Spectrum version? Well, they're, they're more or less the same. There's slight uh, differences in the two, but I like both of them equally, I think. Can't really, can't really separate them, really. I mean, the only differences I can sort of like see, mainly, is the display down the bottom there, the the food gauge and the other gauge. They go down, they're, they're, they horizontally across down the bottom, on the Spectrum version from memory, they're vertically along the right, but well, that's just a cosmetic thing. Doesn't really affect the playability of the game at all. Um, I don't know what else this uh, come out on. Uh, might have come out on the Amstrad CPC, I'm not overly sure, so not sure what display that would have gone with. But you can't go wrong with this, if you see Maziacs, uh, if you've got a Spectrum or a Commodore 64, then track that one down. Well worth, well worth a play, I would think. Excellent. I mean, it might be hard to get people with modern day gaming interest in this now, because it is of an era. If you grew up through it, you've got a better chance of, of liking the thing. But I, I like it from a historical point of view. I don't even like it uh, uh, today, really. Good stuff. Chop you. Chop silly. Boom. Hooray. It's good animation as well, when he um, beats the maze egg. Right, now, sound is as expected, one would have thought. This might be my last go. I've already played it, as I say, longer than I intended to. But it's Maziacs. And it's fine, good to finally catch up with it on the Commodore 64. Good stuff. Good, 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 good. Let's reunite the world through 8-bit gaming. Show us the way, sir. Right, I don't know who's left this food here. Maybe the Maziacs. I saw, sorry, I saw the, um, the, the treasure up there in the corner. You just have to be lucky, as sometimes it might randomise a really easy map uh, with the Maziacs nowhere near, I'd imagine, and that's when you probably uh, complete it and see the game over sequence. Right, two in a row, I'm testing my luck now. Got to be a hero. We'll take that food, we've got no sword, so we risk it anyway. No, let's try and get a sword from somewhere. No, I don't know. Oh, let's just... Here we go. Ch chances of victory are slim. I've beaten him, good. Right, take that, Maziac. That was without a sword, that was. Right, now. I think that yellow indicator might be how strong the Maziac is, maybe. Not sure. Good. Right, so this is, this is going good, isn't it? Boof. Come on, let's get to the treasure, baby. Maybe pick up swords this time if we do. Gains will be, uh, lengths will be varied. Oh, what about the other way? Okay, maybe I'm lost. Oops. Why did you have to go there? Victory to me? Yes, good. More food. Where, where's the treasure? It must be around here somewhere. Oh, I didn't have a sword that time. That could spell do. No, it didn't. Right, good. Uh, you can only use... You spotted already, can't you? You can only use one sword per victory of the Maziac. As soon as you've done that, it's over. Outrun you, that's a sword, that gives me a better chance, but anyway, if we can avoid a battle, do so. Please be up, not back the other way. Take your time, sir. Right, up we go, there's there's a treasure, right, good, we've got it. So, the two strategies now, either try and make it all the way back to the start again, uh, without getting a sword, trying your luck, or dump it periodically grabbing swords. The best thing to do is to dump it and grab swords, that's got an incre increased chance of victory. But I always favour running with this box. Two, two, yeah, this could be this could be a bit tough. Food's going down a bit. No swords up here, is there? Maybe I should wait till the Maziac goes away and hopefully get lucky. It's time to get lucky. It's time to get this. Oh, it's not lucky, is it? I've run out of luck. Oh dearie me. Well anyway. 
Hope you like that game, as you could probably tell. Rest assured, it was over quickly. Well, as you could probably tell, I really, really like this. Uh, excellent game. I thought it was going to be good, and I wasn't disappointed. Uh, great maze, great addictiveness, and, and simple to play as well. So, yeah, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Maziacs on the Commodore 64, published by DK Tronics in 1984. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.